Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the challenges that Indians face while getting a green card in the United States. Because of these challenges, you may have noticed that a lot of Indians have now started moving to other countries like Canada, Germany, London, countries which are much more appreciative of the skills and value that Indians bring. Generally, for Indians, there are two ways they can go about it. First one is a family-based green card where you already have your immediate family member who is a US citizen living in US and that person can file for your green card. The other option is the employment-based green card. That means that your employer is filing for your green card so that you can work in the United States on a more permanent basis. Majority of Indians fall under the second category, which is employment based green card, because not everyone has a family member who is a US citizen. The US government has set an annual limit on how many employment based green cards can be issued. And that limit is 1,40,000 green cards. And I understand why they have done that. They don't want to issue unlimited number of green cards. They want to have a limit on how many green cards can be issued. Here's the real challenge. On top of that 1,40,000 green card limit, the US government has also imposed a 7% country cap. That means each country can only get 7% of 1,40,000 green cards that can be issued annually. This means that Indians can only get 9,800 green cards per year in the United States. Once that limit is reached, individuals from other countries are given priority over Indians, even if they have fewer qualifications and skills. The number of Indians that apply to get a green card in US is much more than 9,800 green cards that can be issued to Indians. And because of that, there are currently 1 million Indians waiting in the queue to get their green card. Given the current allocation, it is entirely possible that many Indians who are waiting in the line may never receive a green card in their lifetime. Now, there are ways to fast track this process, for example, you can pursue a PhD in the United States. However, that's a topic for another video. If you're interested in learning more about it, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll create a dedicated video on that topic. While this video highlights some of the issues with the green card process, it is not meant to cast any negative light on the United States. Rather, the intention is to just provide you with some insights into the complexities of this process. The US still is an excellent destination for education and work experience. However, if you are an Indian and you are looking to permanently settle abroad, it may be worth exploring some other options where the path to citizenship is much more straightforward. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or thoughts on this topic, put them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that you can keep getting such informational videos from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.